Yo, it's your boy, my makes money. Today, I want to talk about Subdux, uh, this NFT project. I really wanted to know why this project was where it was, and I also know that it has a utility token. And I love NFTs that have um, reading or utility tokens, which are kind of a new thing because I've seen many, many projects come out with them just because it's kind of like a trend in the NFT community right now um, because of CyberKongs. So knowing that this project has a utility token, I kind of wanted to know um, what you can do with it just because we're still in a very new space and really just trying to understand what is going on with this NFT project. So going to talk about Subdux today, I feel like the main focus on this project is actually community. While in other projects, it's kind of like they want to give you the NFT and make it useful. But this NFT, I feel like it's just laid back. The community itself, trying to really uh, talk to other people, it was a pretty chill experience. Um, usually, with other NFT projects, it feels like everybody knows each other, but this project, it felt like everybody was friends, which, no, it was just pretty cool. And I wanted to talk about Volts, which is a utility token. So every NFT gets 10 volts per day. And at one point, uh, Volts was around like uh, $10. Um, or a dollar, sorry. My phone was going off and I lost track. Uh, the all-time high was around, uh, yeah, $1.17. And right now, Volts is around um, $0.55, cents, which is uh, not that bad, I guess. If you did want to sell it, but this is a utility token, so no one can talk about passive income. Which, all right, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I, I, that's how it is. But because when you talk about utility tokens and passive income, it's just bad. It's just bad. And also, I feel like the artist himself, uh, Jeffrey Nines, I believe. I could be saying it wrong. I, just watched his YouTube video and um he seems pretty chill. This is really all I got from the project. Um I tried to look at the roadmap and there was nothing too crazy. I believe they're coming out with frogs and the frogs are already out, but you no, know, the artwork looks cool and all, and I just wanted to talk about it. I know it was nothing special, I said nothing revolutionary, something that will inspire you to get into this project, but Really, the main focus is just the artist itself in it. I feel like it really is just a community. While in other uh, artist uh, crypto projects, it, it just feels so different. You just have to check it for yourself. So I'm going to have to put the Discord, the website, the roadmap for this project. I haven't even seen it. So I feel like this is really just community driven. And that's the type of project it is, which pretty nice. You don't see that often where the community is the main focus. Because I want you try to look at this roadmap. I have seen nothing at all. Um, they said that they're gonna surprise us, but that doesn't sound pretty good. That doesn't sound too good at all. But you know what? It's what the community drives. Or whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, honestly. But it feels like the community is the only thing that is good about the project. So, what are your thoughts on this project? Are you part of it? And thank you guys for watching. It's your boy, my makes money. Peace.